Welcome to a quick demonstration of S1 data protection. The exponential growth of data requires more elaborate ways to protect it, as old technologies are not built to support modern hardware sufficiently. S1 True Storage offers an outstanding data retention and data protection that utilizes the latest high capacity drives efficiently and without compromising on performance. S1's data retention and data protection policies are defined per volume and let you decide how many drives can fail without any data loss and how many backup snapshots with any frequency and retention you want to create with no performance penalty. In this demo, we will show how secure your data can really be. In this demo, S1 is installed on two Supermicro servers and functions as a full HA system. The servers are connected to an HGST JBOD with 24 HGST SSD drives and connected to six hosts through iSCSI and fiber channel connections. To configure a data retention policy for the volume, scroll down to the data protection section. Unlike traditional RAIDs, with S1 you can configure how many drive failures each volume can withstand. For example, you can configure one volume with a resiliency of one drive failure and another volume with a resiliency of 16 drive failures. N represents the number of fragments per data stripe and K represents the number of redundancy fragments per stripe. All fragments, data and redundancy are spread across all physical drives. In order to access the data, any N fragments are needed from the N plus K fragments. When a disk failure occurs, the data is available from all the remaining drives. Store One reconstructs the information to the available free space on all the remaining drives. In this demo, we will configure redundancy that allows the failure of four physical drives without compromising the data. After forcefully removing four drives from the system, S1 recognizes the missing drives and starts rebuilding the missing data. Unlike traditional RAIDs, which are limited by the performance of a single drive, during S1's rebuilds, the data is written to all available drives in parallel to achieve the fastest rebuild operation. A video located on Store One S1 continues to run without any disruptions. As data redundancy increases, the redundancy state of the volume changes from 8 plus 0 to 8 plus 1 to 8 plus 2 to 8 plus 3 until the rebuild process is finished and the redundancy is back to normal. At this stage, the volume can lose an additional four drives without compromising the data. To configure the snapshot policy for volumes, scroll down to the data retention section. Assign volumes to consistency groups if needed and configure the required recovery point objective for each time window. We'll configure an hourly snapshot for the last day and a daily snapshot for the last month. In addition to the snapshots policy, snapshots can be created manually as well. To take a single manual snapshot, select a volume and click on Take a Snapshot. You can also take immediate snapshots on the entire system by multi-selecting the volumes and clicking on Take Snapshots. To restore from a snapshot, select a volume and click Restore. Volume 1 contains snapshots created by the snapshot policy. In the calendar, each box displays the number of snapshots created during that day. Select the day you would like to restore from 
and a clock control representing the hours during the selected day will appear. Select a specific time from the clock control and click on Restore to perform the restore. The restore process is immediate and the newly created volumes are space efficient and can also be used as independent clones of the original volume. You can also create snapshots on the restored volumes, take nested snapshots on them, and restore from them as well, without any limitation in quantity. With Store One S1, you can have an all-flash array, high-capacity, virtual appliance and auto-tiering solution. It's not four separate products, it's Store One. For more information, visit us at storeone.com. Thank you for listening.